Hey everyone! Today I'm taking you to Tokyo Disneyland, so what a place full of magic and joy. In this video, I'll be sharing a comprehensive guide from purchasing tickets to enjoying the park, including must-try attractions, special Christmas events this year, delicious food, and how to pick the best souvenirs. If you're planning a visit to Tokyo Disneyland soon, or just want to get a feel of this magical park, you won't want to miss this video. We bought a one-day pass for 9,400 yen, about $71 per person, which was super easy to get on Klook. At the park, they just scanned the QR code sent directly to my email. I tried purchasing tickets from the official website, but wasn't successful. Unlike the Disney parks in the States, Tokyo Disneyland doesn't offer park hopping or multi-day tickets. Sometimes they do have two-day passes available, so keep an eye out for that. Make sure to buy your tickets early during peak season, as they can sell out quickly. Taking the train from Tokyo City Center to Disneyland is convenient. For instance, starting from Shinjuku or Ikbukuro, it takes about an hour. Once you reach JR Maihama Station, it's just a five-minute walk to the entrance of Tokyo Disneyland. No matter when you arrive, there's usually a long line at the entrance, so getting there early to queue up is a wise choice. Efficient planning is crucial for enjoying Tokyo Disneyland to the fullest. First off, we bought entrance tickets that don't include any fast track or special access. You'll need to download the Tokyo Disney Resort app and sign up. In the app, you'll find Premier Pass Access, a paid option that helps you save queuing time. The price ranges from 1,500 to 2,000 yen, available for a few select attractions. Another option is the Priority Pass, a free access pass. You select the attractions and times you want in the app and then you can go right in at the designated time. I highly recommend downloading the bilingual map from the Tokyo Disneyland website and saving it on your phone. Once you're in the park, all signs are in Japanese or English. And without the bilingual map, you might have trouble matching up with the attractions recommended by others. If it's your first time at Disneyland or you're visiting with kids, I suggest heading straight to Disneyland. It's a world where all the major IPs come alive, with a variety of attractions, including thrilling ones, and those perfect for the whole family. Plus, the duration of each attraction is relatively longer compared to Disney Say, which feels over too quickly. The whole Disneyland park is wrapped in a joyful atmosphere, while the shows at Disney Sea can seem a bit quieter in comparison. At Tokyo Disneyland, there are some attractions you definitely don't want to miss. First up, uh, the Enchanted Tale of Beauty and the Beast is a must-try new attraction that takes you into a world full of magic. Also, Splash Mountain and Space Mountain are both thrilling classics that always attract crowds. For those who love heartwarming stories, Winnie the Pooh is a perfect choice, while Pirates of the Caribbean offers an adventurous ride. And don't forget to experience the Haunted Mansion, which brings surprises and joy in a unique way. This Christmas season, Tokyo Disneyland has lined up a series of special celebratory activities. First off, you absolutely can't miss the 15-meter tall giant Christmas tree at the World Bazaar. Adorned with a 40th anniversary commemorative logo, this tree, making a comeback after four years, is not only dreamy, but also a perfect spot for photos. Next up at 3.25 p.m. every day, don't miss the Christmas Story Parade. Lasting about 45 minutes, Disney friends in Christmas outfits will greet everyone from their themed floats revolving around seven story themes. The parade stops for performances at Westernland, Fantasyland, and Tomorrowland, offering a great chance for an up-close experience. At 7 p.m., be sure to catch the Dreaming Up Parade. In this approximately 45-minute nighttime parade, Disney cartoon stars perform Christmas songs from glittering floats. Characters from Aladdin and Toy Story shine brightly, presenting a spectacular show. Lastly, don't miss the Tokyo Disneyland Band performances. During Christmas, the band plays classic Christmas songs live around the World Bazaar, the main entrance, and the small roundabout. It's not only festive, 
but a perfect way to enjoy joyful moments with family. Food and souvenirs are an important part of the experience at Tokyo Disneyland. I especially recommend trying their chicken legs. Additionally, the park is full of adorable Disney-themed snacks, very popular among visitors. When it comes to shopping, don't miss the souvenir shops inside the park, both before entering and after enjoying your day. They offer a wide range of Disney character merchandise, from headwear to toys. A tip. The variety inside the park is better than at the shops near the entrance, so I suggest picking your souvenirs inside. And now, follow me and let's take a look at my amazing day in Disneyland. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope this video helps you plan an unforgettable trip to Tokyo Disneyland. Don't forget to share your thoughts or experiences about Tokyo Disneyland with me. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on more travel tips and fun videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.